believe we are here doing this update again already. <laughs> it seems like I just sat down and filmed round eight. But here we are with another update on Throwing Shade. This is Throwing Shade Update 8, Round 9. <laughs> definitely one of my funnest projects that I have been doing and I can't believe I've been doing this project for nine months now and if you want to see what three new palettes will be picked for this month then just make sure to keep on watching but before we get into the video make sure you guys subscribe I put out new videos two to three times a week so you don't want to miss out on all the fun also check the down bar for all my other links to all my other social media platforms let's just go ahead and hop into the video <laughs> decided to start this project over to start doing it in conjunction with a project that I've been doing over on my Instagram called No Pan Left Behind. And it's basically a fun challenge that is helping to kind of push me to use every shade in every palette that I own, which is absolutely crazy to say out loud, but it has been so fun. By doing it in conjunction with the throwing shade, every palette that is chosen for this project, I then try to use every pan in those palettes palettes and I'll just keep going down the line that way and it has been a lot of fun and for this past month the three palettes that were chosen which we will go over I just wanted to say that I did manage to use every pan in every palette for this past month which is so exciting which was a total of 44 pans out of the three palettes that were in of course as I go over each week's palette I will insert any types of looks that I have done with those palettes and some of the looks might look a little crazy but hey it's just a matter of trying to use every pan in each palette and it has been such a fun challenge to do that let's go ahead and go into the first week of the project it chose my BH Cosmetics color festival palette which is a really really gorgeous just a colorful palette as I had mentioned on my last month's update which there will be a playlist to this in the cards for you guys I will try to show you guys some swatches of each new palettes that are being being chosen this month the three new palettes that we will choose I will insert some swatches of those but if you want to see some swatches of this palette or any of these three go ahead and check out my last month's update and you will see swatches if you want to see swatches <laughs> this is a really gorgeous just a colorful bright vibrant palette and I really do love BH Cosmetics formula I did manage to create a really gorgeous look as you can see from the photos it was one of my favorite looks that I had created from this palette I have done quite a few looks with this in the past and that look was just absolutely gorgeous I love the way the colors that I use kind of just all came together and it just made for a really beautiful look and then I did end up having to mix some of the funkier shades that I didn't reach for to create a really crazy look at towards the end which of course I will have a couple photos of that look but it helped me to use every pan in here which there is a total of 20 pans in here the only row that is rather difficult as I mentioned in the last month's update is this last row right here just because it is dark shimmer shades and you really just have to kind of base your whole look around one of these shades if you plan to use one you could literally just throw one of these on your lid and then just go in with one other color or a couple crease colors but your look really has to be based upon and around one of these shades I did use every pan in here and I did create some very fun beautiful looks with this as you can see from some of the photos that I had inserted and it is just a really great palette and I'm glad that I ended up getting a lot 
lot of good use out of this which is why I love the no pan left behind because it really really helps me to get great use out of the palettes so that I can go ahead and give like my final thoughts on the palettes I've been doing over on my Instagram so my final thoughts for this palette is I do really enjoy this and if you're interested in looking and picking up this palette from BH Cosmetics I say definitely go for it just be kind of aware of this last row of those darker shimmer shades you just really have to base your look upon one of those shades on the lid but overall I love this palette and I'm still very glad that I have it it performs just as well as it did the day I bought it and I've had it for over a year now it's a great palette for the second week it chose my morphe 15b palette and this is just a really beautiful type of neutral tone palette with some pops of pink in there and some really beautiful like silvery type of gorgeous shades in here it is a really great palette i do actually like morphe's shadows a lot of hit and miss with their shadows for a lot of people but i don't mind their shadows at all their shimmers and metallics are really really nice and i really did get a lot of enjoyment out of this palette as you can see from some of the looks that you know I did make some very beautiful like everyday day-to-day -day types of neutral looks with this palette I really enjoy the shades squad parfait basically all the pink shades and then the shade whipped cream is really really gorgeous as an inner corner highlight and it has a really nice matte black down here called black coffee which is really gorgeous and it is just a gorgeous neutral color scheme so my final thoughts on this palette is if you are a neutral lover and you just want a a little light wash of color mixed in with the neutral palette I would definitely say highly recommend this palette Morphe is relatively affordable and I like their shadows I mean it's just some of them aren't super pigmented like right off the bat which I'm okay with that I prefer to build up my shadows so I really like this and if you're looking for a neutral type of palette with some pinks in it I say go for it and get this palette overall I'm glad that I have it and I'm glad that it was chosen and I got to create some really fun really gorgeous day-to-day -day approachable more wearable looks with this for the third week of the month it chose my Juvia's Place Zulu palette which is another really colorful just gorgeous gorgeous palette I created some really gorgeous looks with this one of my favorite types of looks as you can see from the photos it is just a great colorful palette this is one of Juvia's Place's best palettes that they have made I believe and it's just gorgeous the color story and the colors and the metallics in here these blue and this teal are absolutely to die for that pink is incredible and I did manage to use all shades in here which was relatively easy because there is only nine shades in here the only shade again that feels a little out of place is this brown shade so you can just really add type any type of depth with the shade and I forgot to mention that I did use every pan in the morphe 15b palette as well which there is 15 shadows in here so I did reach that and use every shade for no pan left behind <laughs> as well as the Zulu palette I used every pan in here because there was only nine shadows and as you can see from some of the photos of the really gorgeous look that I created with this palette and my final thoughts on this is of course I highly recommend if you have not tried Juvia's Place shadows I highly recommend that you get one of their palettes and I if you're into color and you're wanting to experiment with color I say go for it and get this palette just because it has some beautiful bold rich creamy shadows in here i did use some of these in here to create the look that i'm wearing which we will go over in a little bit since on the fourth week you use all all three palettes to create a look which is what we got going on here this is such a wonderful palette and i of course i'm really glad that i own this and i have definitely gotten a lot of good use out of this on the fourth week of the month you are then supposed to use all three palettes combined to create a look this is the look that i created what do you guys think I definitely think the look is different but it's actually came out really really nice this just goes to show you that you truly have to trust the process of your eyeshadow application because I was so close to just wiping this off altogether, which I can always tend to save a look 
I've never had to like wipe off a look and start over, knock on wood, but I was so close to doing that today and I really just kept going and trusted the process. The look actually came out really nice and I quite like it. And I did use some shades from all three of these palettes and I was back and forth and so I will try to quickly go over the shades that I used from these three palettes. Starting with the Zulu palette, I went in with the yellow shade and I just kind of packed that on the inner portion right here. And then I went into the orange next and I packed that on right there and then lightly blended. And then I went in with this teal shade and I lightly packed that right out here and lightly blended. And then I went into the Beach Cosmetics palette and I picked up the shade right here, Denim, even though it's a shimmer shade. And I packed that on the outer portion of my crease right here and I lightly blended that. Then I went into the Morphe 15B palette and I picked up the shade Bottomless Minosas right here and I put that on the inner portion of my lid and <laughs> then back to the beach palette and I went in on the second portion of my lid with the shade Holo right here followed by the shade Queen on the outer portion of my lid. <laughs> And then for my lower lash line, <laughs> I went back to the 15B and I really did use all three palettes combined. And I just went with a more neutral lower lash line and I used these two shades right here and I just packed those on my lower lash line. And then I blended them with the shade Chic right here <laughs> from the Beach Cosmetics palette. For my inner corner, I went in with the shade Disco as well as a little bit of the shade whipped cream for my inner corner highlights. So I definitely got good use. I used all three palettes to create this look and I used a lot of shades and I used every shade in all three of these palettes, which is so fun to be able to actually do that. My schedule has been so crazy and so hectic lately. I've been so busy at work that it's kind of been a challenge for me to film videos and everything. So I really do apologize that my videos haven't been going up as frequently and consistently as they used to. I really am trying to give it my best considering the schedule and how busy I have been and then trying to still upload videos and content for you guys. Now we will go ahead and pick three new palettes and since I don't have any other type of method yet with like the Tiny Decisions app with my palettes inserted into that yet, I will just go ahead and do again, enter the numbers one to 150 because now I have, instead of 140 palettes I now have 150 and the reason for that is because I was recently gifted one of the Tom Ford eyeshadow quads which is nuts to me from Influencer and then I also won a little eyeshadow trio from a giveaway from actually Rachel Redheaded Mama here on YouTube I won her giveaway and it had a little Laura Geller eyeshadow trio in there so that also made my pan count go up from 2223 pans of eyeshadow to now 2,230 pans. So I went up seven more pans, which is not too bad. I'm actually okay with it because now I have two round numbers, uh, 150 and 2,230 pans of eyeshadow, which is so nuts to say out loud. <laughs> but so far I have used almost 100 pans of eyeshadow in total since starting the No Pan Left Behind Challenge. And I have used a total of 98 pans so far. So we're almost to our first hundred. Not bad. We got definitely a very long way to go before we ever get to even close to thousands of pans used for no pan left behind. <laughs> but it's a fun project and I really have been enjoying it and it's been so good at helping me to really use my palettes for throwing shade. Because if you go back and you watch some of my earlier videos, I really was struggling. I loved the project and I love picking new palettes each month, but I just didn't really get a chance to use them as much as I would have liked to. I went ahead and I put put one to 150 in. So let's go ahead and pick three new numbers and then I will go and show you guys my inventory and we'll pick the palettes and then I'll come back and we'll wrap this video up and go over the three new palettes. Number 143, 92, and 117. 
So now let me go ahead and take you guys to the inventory in the next slide and we will pick these palettes. Here we are at my inventory. Here is the count. The first number drawn was number 143. Let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to number 143, which is my Huda Beauty Nude Medium palette. Right here is my number for the count in my inventory. If it happens to choose a palette that is already in another project or was already in this project basically I'm just going to pick the palette below it the next number was number 92 which if you go up here is my Natasha Denona mini retro palette number 117 is my beach cosmetics love in London palette back and I went and I picked those three palettes out and I gotta say first off this month will be a little bit easier because a lot of these palettes only have nine shades the Natasha Denona's only got five shades so this will be a little bit more easier of a month for me to for no pain left behind which I'm totally okay with because my schedule has been absolutely bonkers lately so <laughs> let's go ahead and go with for the first week it chose my Natasha Denona nude medium palette which you guys know I am such a huge fan of Huda Beauty's eyeshadow formula. I'm so excited. As you guys know, her Mauve Obsessions is my 2020 Pan That palette, and I will link that playlist to that in the cards if you guys want to go check it out. This was actually the very last gift that I allowed to come into my collection, and this came from my anniversary. My husband got this for me for our anniversary, and it was the last gift I allowed to come in since I am on a two-year no-buy. I am no longer accepting gifts just because I got quite a bit of makeup and stuff for my birthday and then I got this for my anniversary and I really want to push the last 18 months or so by no longer accepting gifts so this was the last makeup item I received and as you can see it is just a beautiful beautiful color story this is one of her newer palettes for the three she's got the nude light which I have the nude medium and then the nude rich which I don't have that one but this is what it looks like It is just a gorgeous color scheme and I did do recently a really beautiful look with this. I will insert some photos to show you how beautiful the look came out. I'm excited to use every shade in this palette and get some good use out of it. And as you can see from some of the swatches, just how gorgeous these metallic shades are in this palette. They're just gorgeous. This bottom left hand one is like almost like a duochrome. If you shift it, it turns like from a brown to a deep rich pink color and her matte are to die for. I am just a huge fan of Huda Beauty's eyeshadow formula. I really, really love it. So I'm excited that it chose this and I shouldn't have a problem at all in using all nine of these shades. <laughs> For the second week, it chose my Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette, which this was gifted to me for my birthday, of course. It is a really gorgeous palette, and there's only five shades in here, so I definitely won't have a problem in using every pan in here as well. <laughs> just gorgeous. I did clonk it with my fingernail and scrape that shade, which is such a shame. This is a really beautiful like springtime type of palette. It just screams springtime to me. This is what it looks like. I really love Natasha Denona's formula as well and this will definitely be easy to use since there's only five pans in there so I will have no problem in using every pan in here that's for sure and it's just a gorgeous real light pinky and green just a really interesting color combination but it does make for some very gorgeous eye looks so I'm excited to play with this again and get some looks made and then for the third week of the month it chose my Beach Cosmetics Love in London palette this was actually I won this from a giveaway earlier at the beginning of the year from Emma Beauty. She's also a fellow YouTuber. I won her giveaway. This was a part of her giveaway and it is a really gorgeous cool tone type of palette as you can see. These shades are definitely a more cooler tone, but it is a really gorgeous palette. I had this in my Pan The Way Project Pan. I was trying to pan the shade Biscuit, which that is like a pan those eyeshadows. I'll link that in the cards for you guys. This is a really gorgeous palette. It's just more cool toned, but I'm okay with doing cool tone looks. And there's 16 pans in here, which gives me a total of 30 pans for this month to try to potentially use every pan. That definitely shouldn't be a problem. I'm just excited to 
to get some use out of this. As you can see from some of the swatches, just how gorgeous those shades are. They are really creamy and really foiled. That's why I really like BH Cosmetics formula because they really make a great consistent eyeshadow formula as a whole. Their shades are consistent and their shimmers are really foiled and they're very easy to pick up with on a brush. I can definitely appreciate that. This is what it looks like. It is just a gorgeous, again, cool toned, really great palette. And I haven't used too many of these shades in here yet. So I'm excited to create some looks and it should be interesting to see the type of looks that I create with this palette and trying to use every shade in the palette. <laughs> basically everything for this update you guys we went over the three palettes for this month and you got to see some really gorgeous looks that I created we went and we picked the three new palettes for the ninth month on this project which I can't believe I've been doing this project for nine months now it's been so fun it is definitely one of my most funnest projects I showed you guys the look that I created with all three palettes combined and I just I do I really love this project I'm so grateful for Jessica Lee and Amanda D who are the creators creators of this project. If you're interested in joining this project, feel free to leave a comment down below and we can get you going. That's everything you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and of course please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. Until my next video, everybody enjoy the rest of their day. <laughs> Bye!